Hello my dear students, once again welcome to your online class. So today we will be continuing with the chapter heat of your physics textbook. And if you have gone through a reduced syllabus of physics, so in this chapter there is a very few things that we need to study now. So we will be studying only the first and the last part of the chapter. Okay, so the last part of the chapter will be dealing with the greenhouse effect and the global warming. So what is a greenhouse effect? So long ago a person in a living in a very cold country. So in order to preserve his plants, what did he do? He made a house of made up of glass. Okay, so what did he do? He made a house which was completely made out of glass. And inside this house, he placed a green flowers or a green plants. Okay, so inside all the green plants were there. And then he found out that the plants which was not surviving in that cold place when kept inside a glass. It could survive. It was because this glass has a property of retaining heat inside it. Okay, so the glass has a property that it can allow the radiation of the shorter wavelength to pass through it. Whereas when the plants after getting heated up or whatever the object that was kept in a house after it gets heated up, it radiates a energy of a or a infrared radiation of a longer wavelength okay so the longer wavelength is reflected back but this glass has such a property that it allows the radiation of a shorter wavelength to pass through it but whereas it does not allow the radiation of a larger wavelength to pass through it so as a result of which the heat could enter a house but the heat could not escape outside the house so as a result the temperature inside the house remained warm Okay, so and when viewed from a distance, so this house appeared green because inside this house there were green plants. So that's why the name comes the greenhouse effect. So, okay, so greenhouse effect phenomenon or this process is like a glass here, it acts as a carbon dioxide. Okay, so the air, some of the airs like the carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, and then the methane it has a property similar to that of the glass that means it can allow the radiation of the shorter wavelength to pass through it but the larger wavelength it cannot pass outside okay so this phenomenon of increase in the average temperature of this house is known as a greenhouse effect so same thing can be implied to the earth as well so we know that the earth is surrounded by the blankets of air okay or atmospheres okay so around we have different layers of atmospheres okay so we know that from the sun okay from so visible spectrum along with the visible spectrum there are invisible spectrum as well that enters that travels towards the earth okay so starting from a shorter wavelength like the gamma ray x rays okay and from the larger wavelength like the radio waves and the microwaves all of them they travel from sun through the space and enters inside the earth's atmosphere okay so as we know that the earth or the atmosphere it allows only the sudden radiations to enter inside the earth like few of the infrareds and then the visible light okay and rest of them that is it's absorbed by the ozone and the different layers of atmosphere so now what happens when so the carbon dioxide it allows the heat radiation of the shorter wavelength to pass through it okay so as a result what happens the earth's earth gets heated up so once the earth gets heated up it emits the infrared radiation of the larger wavelength and the carbon dioxide has a property that it cannot allow this heat radiation of the infrared radiation of the larger wavelength to pass through it so as a result the heat is trapped within the earth's atmosphere so the advantage of this is it keeps the earth's temperature warm during the night as well in absence of these different layers of air what would happen all the heat would have escaped into the space and during night the earth's temperature would have fallen below 0 degree centigrade okay so that is a greenhouse effect now coming to the term global warming okay so before coming to the term global warming the cause of greenhouse effect is it is because of the increase in the level of the greenhouse gases like the carbon dioxide methane and the oxides of sulfur and many more. 
it's causing because of the use of lots of automobiles and deforestation and it's also due to the increase of the human population now coming to the global warming so the global warming so just now we studied that the carbon dioxide it helps in trapping the heat within the earth's atmosphere but nowadays what's happening is the level of carbon dioxide is growing too much so what is happening all the heat okay it's being trapped inside the earth's atmosphere so due to the result of which the average temperature of the earth is rising year by year so that means whatever should be the temperature of the earth now it's more than that okay so that is known as the global warming so the global warming is the increase in the earth's temperature above its average value okay so that is the global warming now what causes global warming the same thing that causes the greenhouse effect causes the global warming that is the rise of the population okay deforestation okay so growth of the industries and then growth of the human population so that's why the level of carbon dioxide is increasing since due to increase in the population what happens is we give out more carbon dioxide and there are lesser plant to absorb this carbon dioxide so the amount of carbon dioxide is increasing day by day and that's causing the global warming so there are many harmful impacts of the global warming okay so one of the essential or the most important impact is nowadays we see that the seasons the winters are not as cold as before okay so there will be a change in the climatic pattern as well so that's why there will be change in the ecology of the world okay so due to the global warming due to the rise of the earth's temperature the glaciers in the polar regions what's happening it's continuously melting and the level of the water in the seas are rising so if the level of the water in the sea rises what happens there are the chances of coming flood and the tsunamis regularly and also it harms the aquatic life as well now there are ways to minimize this global warming as well so the first is we need to minimize the uses of the machines that emits carbon dioxide that means the automobiles so instead of using a private vehicles we can always board a public vehicle and instead of deforestation okay what can we do we can plant green plants okay so that it may absorb the more amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and thus the level of the greenhouse gases may reduce apart from the carbon dioxide there are many other gases like the sulfur dioxide methane that is also the cause of the global warming so we can also minimize the uses of the fuels so that are the ways to minimize the global warming okay so this is the end of the chapter heat in this chapter you will be studying only the first and the last portion in the middle we have the conservation of energy okay different forms of energy transformation of energy so that is not in your reduced syllabus okay so this is all we have to study in the chapter of heat so if you have any queries you can still ask me in my whatsapp number thank you stay home and stay safe